What's up, YouTube? Gonna be installing these on my 700 XX Honda 2008 GRX 700XX. Gonna be installing these. I put these bars on um, the Pro Taper Raptor um, Bend SEs, but uh, they're just basically kind of on there. Everything's a little bit loose. I was waiting for some of this stuff to get here, so here it is. So I went with the F4s pros so that's what i got levers and i went with the pill top grips and those are the part number right there that's what i went with and the part number for this and as you can tell it does fit a 700 xx you see where it says right there trx 700 xx 99 through 14 obviously it's only 08 and 09 but um yeah those are the ones and these are the, well, the protectors, the pro ones, so they throw these guys in there, which is the little protectors. Uh, so you won't get stuff inside the, uh, I guess, the uh, mechanisms and stuff. So I'll be installing those and letting y'all know any tips and how I like them and why I went with those. Okay. All right, so tools you'll need is a flathead screwdriver, a uh, five millimeter Allen, Whatever. and uh, eight millimeter and a 10 millimeter 10 millimeter you won't need it until you start putting these guys up uh, a little extension just in case oh my trusted 3 8 inch Milwaukee I love Milwaukee it's great stuff as you can tell <laughs> but um, yeah so uh, the grips um, right here man super soft uh, they take away some of your vibration and also, I'm gonna let you know some pointers too that I that I do to all my handlebars um, to help you with that too. So, but this is the glue. Uh, this helps you to slide it into. You put it in, and then you help you slide it in, and it dries up, and you know they don't come off. That way, you know you don't have an accident. You know, you're trying to drift or get sideways super fast, and next thing you know, you you got a grip in your hand. So you don't want that. So this is what I recommend. This glue right here with that, and then. The levers, wow, man, they are pretty. And uh, so I could have gone black, I could have gone different colors, but blue is my favorite color. Love it, beautiful. Um, so these are unique in many ways. You have your adjustment here; you can do it on the fly. Plus, these are unbreakable, so that's what that's what they say. They go that way too, you know. And then you can adjust here the actual how much thrust you have actually and how much farther far out it goes or if your hands are really small you need to be closer and that kind of stuff too so you have an adjustment here on the clutch cable and then you have the actual adjustment here on the lever itself and these come with a four-year warranty um so you know all forged uses a lot of all forged parts nice bearings just good stuff you know very very good stuff and that's the little little covers too that they sell the little protectors that go right here the brake uh, assembly is pretty simple same thing they have that feature and then you can adjust your handle itself and that attaches to your factory brake uh, hydraulic brake cylinder uh, system so that's how that works right there so uh, yep so let me start on that then Okay, so basically you use your 8mm, pop that off, uh, it's two little 8mm here, you also loosen up Phillips head screw, screw, so you also will need a Phillips head screwdriver. There's two of them in the bottom, one here and one there, you loosen it up basically. And same thing here, This, all this is basically not going to be used other than the cable itself. So I replaced the cable, put a new one on it, but for now I had put it on the old one. All this system will go away. This is the parking brake um, taking my jig. So I'm deleting that. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah. So I already deleted the cable. And um, there's also a little part that you take off at the uh, rear brake. And then you put a, a little little bracket there. Uh, a little spacer and stuff. So anyway, so but that that's for another video. But that's... Uh, all this is going away. Take the cable off. 
and then you can dump that and then two screws right here on both sides and just loosen it up okay you want to put your grips first one of the things that i did and i've always done on all my four wheelers is some of it's sticking out right here you pop the caps off you buy some 100 percent silicone and you just dump a bunch of silicone inside inside of these things and then uh so once you dump a bunch of them in there you uh, just you know just squeeze it with like a basically like a caulking gun but with silicone you can buy that at home depot or uh, lowe's home depot uh, you know any any of those places fill it up put your cap back on and do the same thing on the other side it helps tremendously um, what i've seen with vibration it, you know it keeps the vibrations down a little bit um so and uh next thing we're going to be doing is putting these grips on these grips um that's one of the first things i always do because once the grips are on you'll know exactly where everything goes because the grips need to go in as far as you know as far as possible so you're going to take the grip and uh you're going to apply a little bit of glue to here and it'll help you slide the grip all the way down turn it so you can get glue everywhere and then that's it and then you know you're good to go on that one and you apply you do the same thing on the other ones when you buy the grips make sure you use this, the right part number and i'm uh, giving you that part number now because a lot of the grips will have they're designed for dirt bikes so um so they'll be a little bit different um, so you want to make sure that it has um this type of scenario so it won't get in the way of whenever your accelerator uh, thing I'm a chick. So ATVs have a little bit different. So um, I think years ago I, I messed up and I bought some. I liked the color and I just got them and they came the other way. So you know it's just a little bit no biggie but one little pointer. All right so let me go ahead and put those on and we'll go from there. Be right back. All right so once the they're on uh, wait for them to tack up and make sure that they are good once you slide them on you're gonna see like it they'll bubble up a little bit here uh, with air push all the air out you're, you'll hear the air out so come out um, so make sure they're all nice and tight all the way through and then these guys right here then you're gonna put them in their place and tie in, tie in these guys back up so because then your your handle your, your levers are gonna go on this side of them so um, it's important to get this right until before you put your levers on yep so now next step is well first to tighten up these guys and then we're gonna start uh, putting these guys on be right back okay so we got the handle on there it's not it's still loose because you just want to leave it loose um, but you kind of have it in its place um, but these bolts don't tighten them up yet just just snug them up a little bit and then this is your clutch cable so you follow that down just down here and you want to loosen it all up okay so normally it sits um, somewhere halfway in the middle like that loosen it all the way up put that this bolt all the way towards the cable that way it gives you slack and then that slack allows you to be able to pull it out from here and then you're gonna stick it in where it goes okay which is gonna be on the bottom you'll see a little slot let me see catch it on the camera um, you'll see a slot right there I'm actually right-handed not left-handed but I'm holding the camera here so bear with me so yeah so once you have it in there then you'll see there's a slot where it's gonna go in and then this guy right here the turning thing has a slot too and so does uh, the other guy so you line up everything so your cable can go in and then this thing got, goes in so that's how you how you see that and then this thing can twist and go wherever direction now but that's how you put the cable in once you have that there put your cable basically what you're gonna have it here is until uh, well it loosened up from the bottom so I gotta put that back in but uh somewhat halfway but you just basically tighten it up until this lever is basically uh like it moves until it almost catches and then that one that one is right so it's there's a play in it 
So you, you move it until you can feel like click right there, right? So you move this cable until you, you feel it there. And what I mean by that is adjusting it here. The rest of it gets adjusted up here where it pushes it beyond that point. But this just gets it to where it's, um, you know, almost, almost on there. So let me go ahead and put this back together and then get back with y'all. All right, guys, so it's on there. So it's crucial to have just a small amount of play right here. Okay, so right before it catches, so there's a, it's on there. Usually this thing is all the way back. So now it's not on it, but it's, you know, it's on there. So you tighten these guys up and it's crucial this because if you get this wrong, then, you know, that's not going to be right. So, um, yep. So that's what, that's what you do there. So that, that part is done. And you go up here and this is going to be the actual lever. Okay. Um, so this one has an adjustment, obviously. And then that adjustment is uh, what you want to adjust. You basically want to have a nickel size here um, for so a little bit of play. I go like a dime. That's what I do. Um, so. Uh, let's see here. Looks good right there. Tighten them up. So, cable. That's what I want, okay? And basically, whatever looseness you have there, you see it transfer here. So as soon as you press it, the cable's already moving, but it's actually still disengaged down here, so it's perfect. And then you push back. And this lever needs to be out more. As you can tell, this, you can adjust it so you can have more throw on it. So now, has more throw. A little bit more. Hold that more. So it keeps adjusting to where you can. Oh, that's nice and feels good. How I like mine. Maybe I can adjust it just a tad bit more right over here, but I can finalize that once I put everything back together. But y'all get the idea, okay? So I still got to put the cover back on on that, and then still put the other side. So I'm gonna start doing that. Okay, guys, might look like it's a lot. Or maybe a little bit hard, but it's basically what you're doing is you're removing this guy. This is the what's in their factory, and then you're putting that in there. So that bolt is the factory bolt. You pull it out 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter on the side, and then you toss this away. In the box, there's gonna be a description, and it'll say uh, it'll say Honda bushings right and it will have these type or it has a, um, a long one they use a long one that goes in it goes inside and it allows the screw to be nice and tight in there you put that in to the to the bar to the you know the a asvs and then you put your put your bolt through and your nut and then that's it i mean basically it touches your your switch here and it pushes, pushes pressure on the hydraulic system right here. So 
and then this right here you just adjust it however you want if you want it you know more in and more out you know so that's how that works there and basically we you know when you're driving it you'll you'll get used to what what is the position that you want but that's basically the the how you put the the levers and the grips uh one last thing that i'm gonna do is is show you how to put those little covers on um and go from there i think you're gonna have to pull off a couple of little bolts that i installed but that's basically it guys be right back oh so this little guy right here it comes pre-designed to have them right there so you basically take that guy stick it in place and then you find your little hole all the way through and then you got your screws right there so that's how that one goes the other one you got to pull that the one that holds your hand your brake handle in, in place and it comes with one the box it comes with two different ones depending on your size then it'll go there so it keeps dust from from all the connections so and it looks kind of nice too well cool let me put them on and i'll get back get back with you wow they look really good and uh pretty easy to install um i just got to figure out it was my first time putting in this particular brand uh these little covers so yeah the two little uh screws attach here this one was a little bit uh more pull the factory the bolt that you put on to put the lever on and then it comes it gives you a bolt so you put the bolt through and there's a washer on the bottom that you got to put on and then you put your nut on there and then there they go now i adjusted my levers to be a little bit lower um that's how i like them uh, so when i'm driving i'm not running into the lever when i'm when i'm trying to go to it especially with gloves on so you know they're not they're not in the way they're not like under your hands if they're too high you know you're like going around them so that's how i like them um, that position um you know obviously they're all custom so you can do them however you want but uh tell me what y'all think if y'all like the color should have gone with something else whatnot and um this guy right here we're gonna be swapping out gonna be taking these putting, putting them over here but for now that's what it is but let me know what y'all think guys uh it's coming along pretty nicely so alrighty. well i'll see you on the next one see ya bye